Hello my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. <clears throat> Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. We're going to get right into your reading. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Angels, I need an overall energy for my beautiful Cancerian, please. Overall energy for my beautiful Cancerians. Okay. So, a lot of the Zodiac has been pulling this card. I would say at least four of the Zodiac throughout my readings within like the last two weeks have been pulling the marriage card. Okay, so you could be tying the knot, clinking the glasses, Cancerian. All right, are you coming into union with someone? Could be a surprise. We don't know. Let's read the message. It says marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. So unconditional love is that love where Cancerian, you can do no wrong, okay? You're, everything about you is somebody's favorite, okay? So um, this is really good energy, Cancerian, all right? And then we have luck. So whatever this relationship is for you, it's going to be lucky. It's going to be strong. Um, I don't know. I've just, there's just like this really lucky, positive energy attached to this marriage card okay so let's read the message it says luck you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead so this might be a new opportunity for you or a new um i don't know if like you just met this person and you just immediately knew that this was your person and you already want to <laughs> you want to take it there um because the cancerian you mean you guys you guys are the chariot okay and you have two strong uh, horses pulling that chariot okay so it's like double the horsepower all right um so whatever it is i feel like the, i mean you, since you guys do rule the chariot you might this will be a victory for you okay so let's get into it with the kipper and then we'll go into it with the tarot I'm hearing like a spiritual union. Sorry, this one was already flipped. You might be getting married in a church, okay? Getting married in a church isn't for everyone or whatever, but I feel like um, you want to go like the, the traditional way, and I'm feeling like church vibes with this, okay? And I feel like you already I thought like the reception's already planned everything is in the works i'm also feeling an excitement with this lucky card okay so everything is going to go smoothly everything is going to go as planned okay okay <laughs> i feel like you're like beyond obsessed with your person too <laughs> So there's going to be a big change coming, all right? You might be changing locations. You might be moving in together, okay? So if this isn't like the actual like signing of the contracts or this is definitely going up a few levels in your relationship, like moving in together, okay? And that's a really good start because I think really soon after that, you might pop the question or the question might get popped to you, okay, to even take it further all right um yeah this is quick chain okay something expect something within it a, a day to uh, within a month's time this is my expectations card for me it represents time okay so within a month's time cancerian something very lucky is coming in for my train uh, for my cancerian okay Okay, and this is going to be welcomed energy because maybe you were f dealing with something kind of toxic or I don't know, something that had you in bad health or maybe y'all got a cold like I did and had you guys in separation or something. But I feel like this is energy that's passing or it's on its way out. It's something that you moved past. more for Cancerian please 
okay i know i said um I, like i know i said that this could be like a newer person i feel like you were leave you left like a um like more of like a toxic relationship or something i feel like that wasn't a really good there was like a lot of cheating going on and maybe this person wants to come back around like i said this is mercury retrograde when <laughs> Things from the past are coming back around, especially if you had like a little glow up, okay? And it got recognized and all of a sudden they all start trying to come back and, you know, trying to get, you know, their claws in or whatever. But I feel like there is like a, you're having a changing location or like you went through some like physical change. Like I, like I said, I felt like a, a kind of like a glow up energy. I think this past relationship helped you transform, okay? But um, like I said, Mercury retrograde is back or here and somebody from your past might want you back and make themselves known, okay? But I feel like you did too much self-work. Um, and I think like you know your self-worth now to ever entertain this past energy again but that's what mercury retrograde does that those these are our little tests okay they come back and see if you'll bite if you bite you're not ready all right so <laughs> these are mercury retrograde is our checks and our balances all right so and we're all experiencing it um and i don't know if i mentioned this but I had to do your reading over again. I had to do Gemini's reading over again. I had to do Taurus and Aries over again. <coughs> it was just like this weird, sticky, thick energy. And I don't know if it's because it's like, you know, kind of a dreary day outside where I am. I just, I don't think that. I just think it's just all these conflicting energies right now with the holidays going on. And then the Mercury retrograde, things from the past, making themselves present again. <laughs> It's just a lot. I think everybody's going through their own kind of thing right now. But there was an ongoing theme throughout the reads. And the card that kept on coming out was Car Wreck. And I just am telling all um, everybody I'm reading for today just to be very careful. Okay, the, the holidays are right around the corner. And there's going to be a lot of celebration going on. All right. Celebrate responsibly. Stay inside. If you want to drink, whatever, stay inside. If you need a ride home, you call an Uber or somebody that hasn't been drinking. Do not get behind the wheel. Because I tell you, that card came out in every reading today. And it got a little creepy. So just, I want everybody in my collected, you know, to be safe. And, and all that kind of good stuff. All right, more for the Cancerian. That's as preachy as I'm going to get, all right? <laughs> more for the Cancerian. All right. Ace of Wands. So this is a new person for you, Cancerian, okay? This could be masculine energy making its way to a feminine energy, okay? But it is the Ace of Wands, so that a new passionate beginning, all right? This is someone that really lights your fire, that makes you feel giddy, all right, that kind of brings out that childlike quality in you. All right, you, I just feel like a lot of fun times are ahead, like a lot of new adventures. Okay, and I feel like this new energy, see all this brightness is going to cast out that, that dark energy of the past. All right, this is a bright, new, fruitful beginning for the Cancerian. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Cancerian, I think your birthday is like, what is it, end of June in July or something like that, okay, um, or, or into August, summer, you're, the, you're a summer baby, okay, so you could be dealing with a Leo, there might be um, a Leo entering a fire sign. Okay, coming towards you, and this is a masculine energy. I think uh, you 
weathered the battle. I thought I think you showed enormous strength. I think you're overcoming a toxic situation. I think you handle it with, you know, strength and perseverance. I think it's being acknowledged and recognized, okay? Um, and also, I think that you're being recognized for your leadership right now, okay? So it's really good energy as well. All right. This wanted to come out too. All right. This is a Six of Pentacles. This is kind of like an unexpected income card. Um, if you were having any financial difficulties, I think that's an energy of the past too. I think you're going to be gifted something that's really going to help you along the way. Um, maybe these are your wedding gifts, okay? They're, you're going to like have a brand new um, kitchen appliances, new towels, you know, all those kind of um, wedding gifts you receive. And I think you're going to get so much that it's just, it's really going to surprise you. And um, I feel like going to... you realize how love and supported this new commitment is for you as well okay all right more for the cancerian oh here it is here it is the ten of cups all right this is the ultimate happiness all right this is the card of marriage the card of family but it's the card of a happy marriage and a happy family and growing old under one roof with the people you love most, all right? This is the card everyone strives for, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And all the aces, okay? But I feel like all the aces are included in this wonderful new beginning. And I think it'll be here for the new year, all right? The new year looks so bright and prosperous for my Cancerian. You're just not going to know what to do with yourself, all right? <laughs> okay, but this is a very welcomed energy for you. I'm going to leave that there. You don't get better than the Ten of Cups, all right? So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, until next time, baby dolls.